Uh, hi, other kitty. Puss, 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 puss. They are cute. They're so happy. G'day viewers, well, I got this off eBay recently. Heavy duty clips will turn out the switch. The power outlet, there's a switch in the socket outlet. These types of outlets can be um, coupled. You can change it um, to a 3 phase or 15 amp outlet. So this is becoming quite useful. This is the actual socket that accommodates these plugs. So I've got two of these plugs and then I've got the socket for it. Sweet. Very nice, heavy duty made. Oh, I'll open it up and it's in pretty good nick. I'm quite happy with it. I'll open it up and see what's um what it's like inside. Hopefully it's all nice and clean. I want to set the tripod up here and have a look. Okay, if you want to open it up. This is a weatherproof um Socket. It's got the. Uh, you can lock it up with a padlock, so no one can open it. I'll turn it on. I mean, you put a padlock through there and lock it off. So there's a 10 amp, and as I said before, there's also 15 amp ones available from the same seller. So. All P66 are splash back and rain protection from the rain. a chart I've got somewhere it tells what the IP actually means. I've got to find where the hell it is and I can um, show on video what the uh, numbers and everything mean. I've got a fairly good idea what it means anyway so I've done a bloody um, search for and electronics and this sort of stuff anyway so I have got a chart for that which I got from TAFE. It tells you exactly what the um, each numbers mean when you're ready for kitchen wise. So we'll seal it off. Clips or 56 SI series. Yep, all well the bolts are intact. It's relatively clean. And the punch outs, the um these are all intact. And these have been removed, but I can um they score out a screwdriver. As long as these aren't cut out, because I could use this um for my little uh, experiments. So I'm out that somewhere. That will come in quite useful to plug me um or I might even set it up on a board somewhere. Have that as an incoming lead to my BAZ. See how see how things go. The main reason why I got this though is for um, yeah for these sockets and um have a good switch, like the switch and microwave on and off. It's much easier than picking up this fire that power wall and using those little flimsy switches. This is something that's more solid. It's a much better uh, quality switch. Oh, yeah, he comes through. for ages so I finally found one for a good price. There wasn't an orange one of these but it wasn't it wasn't complete. That would have been good with these um, plugs but this wasn't complete. There we are, it's inside the switch. Interesting, I wanna wire it up. We've got the little uh, plugs here, which cover your screw holes. And we've got another four in here. And they go on these screw holes here, to cover up the screws. I'll wire this thing up and we can uh, start using it. Good Australian made quality. I know these um, 
the, the little bit, and I think that they actually make some of these in Indonesia as well, so they try and cut costs, which is a shame. I should just make these in Australia. Tells you what the um, size caps to use. How, how, how tight they do the screws, otherwise the IP rating is void. It's very heavy duty plastic, very good quality stuff. Found myself a cable gland. I got this off my Morella Mo 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 contactor, which I'll have to um, cut these out to the find a socket I could use for it to plug things into. That just screws straight in there, nice and tight. There you go, that's a 20mm. The wire goes to the door it up and it bites on and seals it. Okay, if you always want a kitty, just come in to investigate. Hmm? Alright, oh, cat. <laughs> Must want more food. There we go, you get your wire oh, windows are active to the switch. So the lead comes in, common on the switch, it comes out, and this end of the switch into active. There's an extra connection here which is loop, which we won't be using. That's if you're using, I think that's if you're using another arm. Yeah, I'm running a circuit. So we'll fold it over and we'll connect the earth and we're all done. I'll give this thing a test. Okay, the yours are all done. Nice and sealed. Let's give this thing a test. I'll plug it in and put a load on it and see what happens. Oh, okay, alright, let's do our little, uh, get our little back antenna going here. Oh, the cord must be caught. I made a cord. That's better. It's all bloody tangled up. The silicon spray that. There we go, okay, a bit of silicon spray in there and it should be working like brand new. Alright, viewers. There's a proper socket that that screws into. There's actually a rubber seal there. That orange part of the socket here is actually made of rubber. So it seals up and that's a weatherproof seal. Alright, viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.